Algae outbreaks are one of the most frustrating challenges saltwater aquarium hobbyists face. The good news is with the, the right habits and a smart approach, you can keep algae under control and enjoying a clean, thriving reef. Algae is fueled by excess nutrients, poor lighting, weak filtration, and biological imbalances. Once it takes hold, it spreads quickly and can be tough to eliminate, which is why prevention is always better than chasing the problem later. The first line of defense is water quality. Nitrate and phosphate are the primary fuels for algae growth. If you can keep those in check, you've already won half the battle. Regular water changes help export nutrient before they build up, while cleaning filter socks and sponges removes trapped waste before it breaks down. Don't underestimate detritus. Leaving it in your sump is basically leaving a free buffet open for algae. Filtration makes a huge difference as well. A properly sized protein skin removes organics before they break down into nutrients. A refugium with macroalgae like Chetomorpha acts as a natural competitor, consuming nitrate and phosphate so nuisance algae can't. On top of that, chemical filtration, GFO for phosphates or activated carbon for polishing the water, adds extra layers of control. Lighting is another major factor. Too much intensity, the wrong spectrum, or running lights too long can all fuel algae growth. Most reef aquariums only need eight to 10 hours of light per day. Modern LED fixtures make dialing in both intensity and spectrum straightforward, allowing you to tailor your lights to your reef's needs rather than giving algae the advantage. Your cleanup crew is also key. These animals provide constant natural grazing pressure. Turbo, Trochus, and Sarah snails handle the rocks and glass. Hermit crabs clean tough spots, and the Sarah snails and conchs keep the sand bed turned over. In larger systems, herbivore fish like tangs and fox faces are powerful grazers that patrol all day. Think of them as your underwater lawnmowers, steady, reliable, and always on duty. Now let's go through the most common types of algae you're likely to encounter. Diatoms are usually the first. They show up as a dusty brown coating over sand and rock, especially in new tanks. They're fueled by silicates and normally fade away as the tank matures. They're unsightly, but harmless. A few sarah snails, regular water changes, and phosphate absorbing media help shorten this phase. Hair algae is the classic problem most reefers face. Long, green, and stringy, it thrives in tanks with excess nutrients and too much light. The first step is physical removal. Pull it out by hand or siphon out during water changes. Then focus on reducing nutrients through better filtration, careful feeding, and phosphate removers like water box phosphate media. Grazers like turbo snails, hermits, and algae blennies help, while well, tangs and fox faces are like the big guns if you've got the space. Bubble algae appears as shiny green bubbles attached to rock or coral. It often sneaks in on frag plugs or live rock. The tricky part is avoiding popping them inside the tank since that spreads spores. The best approach is careful manual removal, ideally outside the tank, paired with emerald crabs, which are one of the few animals that will eat it. Cyanobacteria, often called red slime algae, isn't really algae, but a bacteria. It forms thick mats in low flow, nutrient rich areas. The fix starts with increasing water flow, siphoning it out during water changes, and cutting back on feeding. Adding beneficial bacteria like water box starter and probiotic bacteria can help tip the balance back. Chemical treatments exist, but think of them as band-aids. Unless you fix the root cause, Sano will just RSVP yes to your tank party again. Finally, dinoflagellates, the dreaded dinos. They thrive on ultra low nutrient systems and show up as slimy brown strings, often with air bubbles. Fighting them takes patience. Daily siphoning, UV sterilizers, shorter light cycles, and even blackouts all help. Most importantly, reintroducing beneficial bacteria helps restore balance. Here's the bottom line. There's no miracle product that will make algae disappear overnight. The solution is balance. By keeping nutrients under control, dialing in lighting, maintaining efficient filtration, and supporting a diverse cleanup crew, you can build a reef ecosystem where algae simply can't take hold. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Let me know in the comments which algae is giving you the biggest headache. Until next time, happy reef keeping.